rest of us have read the book, now you can see the film. The dull old English school text got a much-needed shot in the arm in 1993 when Australian author John Marsden unleashed Tomorrow When the War Began. Six book sequels followed and with two and a half million copies sold, reading at school was cool again. And now the film adaptation is about to hit cinemas. I can't tell if what I did was right or wrong. For us, this war begins tomorrow. <laughs> Please welcome two of the movie's stars, Caitlin Stacey and Lincoln Lewis. books at schools that were you know a massive hit did you feel the pressure to kind of to nail the characters to get them right absolutely because I mean I'm you know I'm sure there are many many members of the audience that have actually read them and, and these characters are probably very close to their heart so you feel like you owe it to just about everyone to get it perfect were you guys a massive fans of it huge yeah. huge fans um uh, I read the books when I was uh, 12 and then all through high school because it's, it's curriculum in most high schools yeah. so I, I read it yeah growing up and, and my brother and I just massive fans and uh, Caitlin uh, smashed through them uh, really, really Big quickly. Fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the pressure of playing those characters must be hard because everyone's acting would be different in their own heads when they read the books. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, the th that's the thing about um, reading a book is everyone has their own interpretation. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but, you can't uh, please everybody. No. Or anybody. <laughs> As the fireman would know. <laughs> you get your eyes off Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what no, I'm talking about. Know. Slap me, slap me. But no, this is a lot more than a book. Of course, this is, and a lot more than just a low-budget Aussie talkie film. This is like a huge Hollywood action film. Did, did you know it was going to be this big? No, it no. still doesn't. We were talking about this before. Yeah, it feels like we just made a, a student film out in the bush with about 200 people. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we've, we've been uh, doing uh, a tour since, um, for the last week or so, and all the lead-up to it and everything, it just... It's, I don't think it, it's hit us yet and it still won't. It's, I think that's the, the beauty of Australia is, is that, you know, this kind of stuff just doesn't happen here. Mm. And um, so, it, it, yeah, it hasn't hit us and I don't know when it will. When it will. If it will. <laughs> now, yeah. Caitlin, we, we were just watching some, uh, a clip there. You, you were driving a, a garbage truck. You, you drive a, a garbage truck, a car, a, a semi-trailer. Is there anything you can't drive <laughs> or, or is there something that you really want to? I actually can't drive an automatic car. <laughs> My normal driver's license. <laughs> the um, the guy, yes, my stunt double was a man, and he drove a fuel tanker and a garbage truck on my behalf. Everything we did was in a sound yeah, studio. Sorry, wind that back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your stunt double was a man. How did that make you feel? Oh, very <laughs> feminine, obviously. How old was your stunt double? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say he was 40, but if he wasn't, I'm really sorry. <laughs> did you walk on set and they go, we need a stunt double? 40-year-old uh, man. 40-year-old man. Like, 40 man. man. <laughs> the same hairstyle as me. <laughs> That's nice. Well, there you go. Caitlin, you were on uh, Neighbours, and Lincoln, you were on Home and Away at the same time. When you came together to do this like, film, did you have to put down the guns, like put the, the rivalry away? Yeah, we just had to both acknowledge the fact that Neighbours is probably... Oh, don't start with me, Stacey. You're on Network 10. So Sorry. Uh, yeah. Close to you to the beach. Yeah. Oh, 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 so it's going really well. This is yeah, it. Since filming stopped, we've picked the guns back up and it kind of hasn't What's, stopped. To be since honest then. though, which is better? You know, Summer Base Coffee Shop or, or Lasseter's? Which do you reckon is better? No is one can cook a decent feed like Irene. That's oh, exactly yeah. right. I'm not going to put it any other way, convert, just quietly. Now, Lincoln, uh, we've actually got some behind the scenes footage of you actually using the camera the, the, here. Now, <laughs> if you look here, what the hell are you it filming? Does, <laughs> it does look like it's just a bit. And did you need a lens that big? <laughs> I needed a lens with extra zoom. <laughs> extra zoom. No, um, no, um... We don't okay. need a serious okay. answer. Okay, <laughs> all jokes... <laughs> That's no. a good story. All jokes, all, okay, all jokes aside, they, they, there's snake... In a the snake. film, kind of, yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but just the uh, um, this snake slithers between my uh, between my legs. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but they wanted a POV shot, and and they so Stuart gave me the camera, and I was like, oh, cool, man, this is different, but all right, sweet. Right. So there's the story. It's not that exciting, but it's good to poke jokes at. So <laughs> <thanks>. <laughs> Sorry when the war began opens everywhere on September 7th. Thanks for joining us, guys. Caitlin. <laughs>